Pierangeli, an Italian actress born on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Sardinia, Italy, was a true icon of the silver screen. She began her career at a young age and quickly gained recognition for her talent. In 1951, she won a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year, actress, for her role in the film Teresa. Angeli's career spanned over two decades, during which she starred in numerous films and television shows. Ta Some of her most notable works include The Story of Three Loves, The Silver Chalice, and Somebody Up There Likes Me. She worked alongside some of the biggest stars of the time, such as Paul Newman, Elizabeth Taylor, and Montgomery Clift. Despite her success, Angeli's personal life was often tumultuous. She was married three times and had several high-profile relationships. Her struggles with mental health and addiction were also well documented. Angeli passed away on September 10, 1971, at the young age of 39. However, her legacy lives on through her work and the impact she had on the film industry. Her performances continue to captivate audiences, and her contributions to classic cinema are still celebrated today. The actress's ability to convey emotion and depth with her performances set her apart from her peers. Her talent and dedication to her craft left an indelible mark on the film industry, inspiring generations of actors and actresses to come. Pierre Angeli's story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring impact of art. Meet Pierre Angeli, an actress who left her mark on Hollywood in the mid-20th century. You might have first noticed her in films like The Story of Three Loves or Magnificent Obsession. Her performances were filled with emotion and intensity, capturing audiences' hearts worldwide. So what made Pier Angeli stand out in an era of cinematic greatness? For one thing, she had a unique ability to connect with viewers through her character's struggles and triumphs. Decades after her passing, fans still remember her impactful roles and the indelible impressions she left on the movie industry. Perhaps you recall seeing one of her movies during a special moment in your life. Maybe it was a beloved family tradition, or perhaps you discovered her work independently. Whatever the case, chances are, her acting resonated deeply with you. Throughout this video, prepare to uncover some surprising facts about Pierre Angeli's career and personal life. From humorous anecdotes to heartbreaking revelations, get ready to delve into the complexities of this classic star. We invite you to share your own experiences and memories related to Pierre Angeli in the comments section below. Let's celebrate together the lasting legacy of this remarkable woman. Born Anna Maria Pierangeli on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Sardinia, Italy, the actress was destined for a life in the spotlight. With parents Luigi Pierangeli, an army officer, and Enrichetta Nicolaes, a pianist, it's no surprise she developed a passion for performing at a young age. Her twin sister, Marisa Pavan, also became an actress, further fueling their shared interest in the craft. Growing up in Rome, the actress attended the prestigious Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia, where she honed her acting skills. She began her career in Italian neorealism films that quickly caught the attention of Hollywood. MGM offered her a contract, leading to her move to America in 1950. Key influencers in the actress's journey include renowned Italian director Vittorio De Sica, who cast her in her first major role in The Barefoot Contessa. Additionally, her close friendship with James Dean significantly impacted her career during the filming of East of Eden, where they played love interests. Their chemistry transcended the screen and influenced both their personal lives and careers. Mentored by veteran actors like Spencer Tracy and Elizabeth Taylor, the actress learned valuable lessons about professionalism, dedication, and staying true to oneself while navigating the complexities of Hollywood stardom. These experiences shaped her into a versatile performer capable of captivating audiences worldwide. Despite facing challenges common among foreign artists in Hollywood, the actress persevered and left behind a legacy cherished by generations of moviegoers. Her story serves as a testament to the power of hard work, resilience, and embracing one's unique talents. Pier Angeli, an actress born on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Sardinia, Italy, captivated audiences with her talent and charm. She began her career at a young age, studying at the prestigious Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia in Rome. In 1950, she appeared in her first film, Teresa, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year, Actress. The actress's career continued to flourish, and she became known for her versatile performances in a variety of genres. In 1953, she starred in the story of Three Loves, a romantic drama that showcased her ability to convey emotion and depth on screen. 
She also appeared in several classic films, such as Magnificent Obsession and Somebody Up There Likes Me, alongside notable actors like Jane Wyman and Paul Newman. Pierre Angeli's impact on the film industry transcended her time, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers today. Her talent and dedication to her craft left a lasting mark on the world of cinema, making her a true icon of the silver screen. Despite her untimely passing on September 10, 1971, her work remains a testament to her enduring legacy. As a young girl, Pier Angeli developed a love for acting. She was born Anna Maria Pierangeli on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Italy. Her twin sister, Marisa Pavan, also became an actress. The two girls would often put on performances for their family, sparking Pier Angeli's interest in the art form. At the age of 11, she began studying drama at the Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia, Italy's National Film School. There, she honed her skills and gained confidence in her abilities. In 1949, she landed her first movie role in Gioventù Perduta. This opportunity further ignited her passion for acting and solidified her decision to pursue it as a career. During the early years of her career, Pier Angeli appeared in several Italian films before catching the attention of American producers. In 1951, she moved to Hollywood, where she quickly made a name for herself with notable roles in movies like The Story of Three Loves, Teresa, and The Silver Chalice. Her talent and dedication to her craft earned her critical acclaim and adoration from fans around the world. Through her various roles, Pier Angeli brought depth and emotion to each character she portrayed, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Pier Angeli, the actress who won the Oscar in 1955, was set to play the role of Lilia in the biblical epic The Ten Commandments. However, she was under contract with MGM, and the studio refused to let her work for another studio. The role eventually went to Deborah Paget. Before this, Angeli had worked with Paul Newman in The Silver Chalice, and was later cast as Norma in Somebody Up There Likes Me. At that time, Eva Marie Saint had been considered for the role, but Angeli got it instead. In his autobiography, Kirk Douglas revealed that he was engaged to Angeli in the early 1950s. Despite this, the actress's career continued to flourish, and she became known for her exceptional talent and dedication to her craft. Throughout her career, Angeli demonstrated her versatility and range as an actress, delivering powerful and memorable performances in a variety of roles. Her contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. Pier Angeli, born Anna Maria Pier Angeli on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Italy, was a talented actress who faced numerous challenges in her early career. Despite her natural ability, she encountered financial struggles and industry skepticism. Raised in a family of six children, Pier Angeli's family faced financial hardships. Her father, a lieutenant colonel in the Italian army, was killed in action during World War II, leaving the family in a precarious financial situation. At a young age, Pier Angeli turned to acting as a means of supporting her family. Despite her talent, the actress encountered industry skepticism. In the male-dominated film industry of the 1950s, women were often relegated to supporting roles. However, Pier Angeli refused to be overshadowed. She took on leading roles in films such as Teresa and The Story of Three Loves, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. Pier Angeli's resilience was further tested when she faced backlash from the industry for her decision to marry musician Vic Damone in 1954. The actress received criticism for prioritizing her personal life over her career. However, she remained undeterred, continuing to act in films and television shows. The actress also found creative solutions to overcome obstacles. In order to expand her career beyond Italy, she learned English and adopted the stage name Pier Angeli. This allowed her to break into the American film industry and gain recognition on a global scale. In conclusion, Pier Angeli's early career was marked by financial struggles and industry skepticism. However, her resilience and creative solutions allowed her to overcome these obstacles and become a successful actress. While working on the film The Angry Silence in 1960, the actress Pier Angeli delivered a remarkable performance during a scene with Michael Craig. So engrossed in her character, she abandoned the script and began shouting in Italian. The result was so compelling that the scene stayed in the movie. It's worth noting that around the same time, both Leonide Mogi and Vittorio De Sica had selected Pier and Jelly for leading roles, a testament to her early recognized talent. Additionally, Pier and Jelly was involved with James Dean while he was filming East of Eden in 1955. 
Their relationship added another layer to the intrigue surrounding these two Hollywood figures. Pier Angeli's career was marked by several breakthrough moments that highlighted her exceptional talent and versatility as an actress. In 1951, she starred in the film Teresa, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress. This classic film, directed by Fred Zinnemann, was a significant stepping stone in her career, garnering critical acclaim and recognition for her captivating performance. The actress's role in The Silver Chalice also proved to be a pivotal point in her career. Although the film received mixed reviews, Angeli's performance was praised by her peers and critics alike. The film showcased her ability to adapt to different roles and further solidified her position as a prominent figure in Hollywood. Later, in 1955, Pier Angeli delivered a powerful performance in Somebody Up There Likes Me, a biographical drama about boxer Rocky Graziano. Her portrayal of Graziano's wife Norma was highly acclaimed and is still remembered as one of her most iconic roles. These breakthrough moments, among others, have left an indelible mark on the film industry and continue to resonate with audiences today. Pier Angeli's ability to captivate viewers with her authentic and engaging performances has transcended time, making her a cherished figure in the world of classic cinema. Pier Angeli and her second husband, Armando Travagioli, separated within a few years of their marriage but never officially divorced. The actress was also reportedly in love with James Dean and wanted to marry him. However, her mother opposed the union due to Dean's behavior and his non-Catholic faith. In fact, three years before she passed away, Pier revealed to the National Enquirer magazine that Dean was the only man she had ever truly loved. In addition, Pier was the sister-in-law of Jean-Pierre Aumont, a French film actor and military officer. It's fascinating to see how the actress's personal life intertwined with that of her family members and colleagues in the film industry. The love story between Pierre and James Dean, in particular, has left a lasting impact on Hollywood history. Despite the challenges they faced, their love for each other remained strong, and it's a testament to the enduring power of true love. Pier Angeli, an Italian actress born on June 19, 1932, was known for her unique approach to acting. She had a natural ability to convey deep emotions, making her performances truly captivating. Angeli's artistic process was deeply personal. She often drew from her own experiences to bring depth to her characters. Her performances were not just acting, they were a reflection of her own emotions and thoughts. This personal touch made her style unique and highly engaging for the audience. The actress's worldview was also reflected in her work. She was a strong advocate for social justice and often chose roles that highlighted these issues. Her performance in The Silver Chalice is a testament to this, where she portrayed a slave girl who gains her freedom and becomes a symbol of hope for others. In Somebody Up There Likes Me, Angeli's character, a singer, supports the main character, a boxer, in his pursuit of his dreams. This film showcases Angeli's ability to portray strong, supportive female characters, reflecting her belief in gender equality. Despite her untimely death at the age of 39, Pierre Angeli's work continues to resonate with audiences today. Her unique approach to acting and her commitment to social justice have left a lasting impact on the film industry. In a 1989 television interview, actor John Erickson and his wife, actress Karen Erickson, claimed that Pierre Angeli did not commit suicide. They said that her twin sister, actress Marisa Pavan, told them Pierre had gotten sick. A doctor came to the house and gave her medication that she had a negative reaction to. Her tongue swelled and she choked to death. The reaction, however, was delayed, so she died after the doctor had left her house. The rumors quickly spread that she had taken her own life. Pier Angeli as Deborah in the Silver Chalice. James Dean was offered the role of Basil the sculptor, but he and his agent thought the script was poor. Paul Newman took the role and later regretted it. Newman was in the running for the role of Cal Trask in East of Eden, which was eventually played by Dean and made him a star. While shooting East of Eden, Dean went over to visit Newman on the set of this film and met the love of his short life, Pier Angeli. Pier Angeli as Louise in Battle of the Bulge. Pier Angeli, who, only five years earlier, had been considered a big star, is billed sixth in the film, does not appear until the film is half over, and then has only one scene. Pier Angeli, an actress who graced both Italian and American cinema, left an indelible mark on the industry with her compelling performances. Her portrayals were known for their emotional depth and authenticity, which resonated deeply with audiences. According to renowned critic Roger Ebert, Angeli had a rare gift for making even mediocre materials seem worth watching. 
The actress began her career at a young age in Italy before moving to Hollywood in the early 1950s. She quickly became one of the most sought-after talents in town, starring opposite some of the biggest names in the business, including James Dean and Marlon Brando. One of Angeli's most iconic roles was in the film The Silver Chalice, where she played a slave girl turned Christian convert. Despite mixed reviews upon its release, the movie has since become a cult classic among fans of historical epics. As director Fred Zinnemann put it, Pierre brought something special to every scene she was in, a sense of grace and dignity that elevated everything around her. Angeli's influence extended beyond just acting technique. Her beauty and style also set new standards for glamour in both Europe and America. Photographers and fashion designers alike clamored to work with her, resulting in countless stunning images and unforgettable looks. Despite passing away tragically young, Pierre Angeli remains a beloved figure in cinematic history. Her contributions continue to inspire generations of actors and filmmakers today. Actor and director Tim Roth reflects on her impact. There was always a quiet intensity about Angeli that drew you in. You couldn't take your eyes off her when she was on screen. Pierre Angeli made two films with Paul Newman, The Silver Chalice in 1954, and Somebody Up There Likes Me in 1956. In 1955, she had a son, Perry Rocco Luigi Farinola Damone, with Vic Damone. Perry was born in Los Angeles, and later became a radio DJ, and owned an entertainer's representation in Phoenix, Arizona. Sadly, he passed away in Scottsdale, Arizona on December 9, 2014 due to lymphoma. The actress gave birth to her second child, Howard Andrew Rugentino, on January 8, 1963. This was after her marriage to Armando Travagioli. Pier Angeli was known for her exceptional acting skills, but she was also a woman of great compassion and kindness outside of her professional sphere. She had a soft spot for children and often dedicated her time and resources to help those in need. The actress was actively involved in various charitable organizations throughout her career. One cause close to her heart was the Italian Children's Home in Los Angeles, where she served as a board member. This home provided shelter and care for underprivileged Italian children who were new immigrants to the United States. Angeli's passion for helping children extended beyond borders. In 1954, she traveled to India to support UNICEF's mission of providing basic needs like food, clothing, and education to impoverished kids worldwide. Her dedication to making a difference in children's lives reflected her deep-seated belief in giving back to society. Moreover, the actress used her platform to raise awareness about social issues affecting women during that era. She advocated for gender equality and empowerment through her speeches and actions, inspiring many young girls to pursue their dreams despite societal constraints. Interestingly, Angeli's love for music played a significant role in shaping her artistic pursuits too. As a child, she learned to play several musical instruments, including the piano and guitar. These early experiences later influenced some of her most memorable roles, particularly in films where she portrayed musicians or sang on screen. To sum up, while Pier Angeli left an indelible mark in Hollywood with her remarkable talent, it was her kind heart, generosity, and commitment to championing crucial social causes that truly set her apart. Even today, her legacy continues to inspire generations of artists and humanitarians alike. Alessandra Mastronardi portrayed the actress in the film Life. She co-starred with Stuart Granger in two movies The Light Touch and Sodom and Gomorrah. Additionally, she is the twin sister of actress Marisa Pavan. Pierre Angeli, an accomplished actress who left an indelible mark on the film industry, began her career in the late 1940s. Her groundbreaking performances paved the way for future generations of artists. She starred in numerous classics, including The Silver Chalice and Somebody Up There Likes Me, where she captivated audiences with her undeniable talent. Angeli was known for her ability to fully immerse herself in diverse roles, leaving behind unforgettable impressions. In fact, her work resonates deeply within the annals of Hollywood history. Even today, many up-and-coming actors study this classic artist's body of work for inspiration. For those hoping to follow in her footsteps, Angeli would likely offer these pearls of wisdom firstly, never underestimate the importance of continuous learning and growth. Stay curious and explore various aspects of your craft. By doing so, you will expand your skills and become more versatile, opening doors to new opportunities. Secondly, embrace every role wholeheartedly, even if it doesn't seem significant at first glance. Each experience contributes to building your unique theatrical tapestry, shaping you into a better performer. 
Sometimes, seemingly minor parts can lead to breakthrough moments in one's career. Finally, maintain integrity and humility throughout your journey. Success often brings attention and recognition, but true artistry lies in staying grounded while continually striving for improvement. Remaining authentic to yourself and respectful towards others fosters positive relationships both on and off screen. Undoubtedly, the legacy of Pier Angeli continues to inspire and guide aspiring professionals in the entertainment industry. As we look forward, may we all remember her timeless advice and carry it proudly into our own creative pursuits. Pier Angeli, whose real name was Anna Maria Pierangeli, was an actress who was reportedly afraid of turning 40. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 39. The actress was laid to rest at Cimetière de Beauvilliers Royal Maison in the French department of Haute de Seine, Ile de France. Born on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Sardinia, Italy, Pierangeli was the older sister of Patricia Pierangeli, who was also an actress. Despite her untimely death, Pierangeli left behind a legacy in the film industry, having appeared in numerous films and shows throughout her career. Her work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. Pier Angeli, born Anna Maria Pier Angeli on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Italy, was a gifted actress who left an indelible mark on the film industry. Her passion for acting was evident from a young age, and she began her career in the early 1950s with a series of critically acclaimed performances. In 1951, Pier Angeli starred in her first film, Teresa, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. This classic film showcased her talent and set the stage for a successful career in Hollywood. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, the actress continued to captivate audiences with her performances in a variety of films and television shows. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in the industry, including James Dean in East of Eden and Charlton Heston in The Ten Commandments. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout her career, Pierre Angeli remained dedicated to her craft and continued to push the boundaries of what was possible in the world of acting. Her innovative approach to her work and her unwavering passion for the art form helped to pave the way for future generations of actors and actresses. Today, this classic actress is remembered not only for her impressive body of work, but also for her enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences around the world serving as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. As we reflect on the life and career of Pier Angeli, let us be reminded of the importance of following our passions and pursuing our dreams, even in the face of adversity. For it is through our creativity and determination that we can leave a lasting mark on the world around us. Pier Angeli was a talented actress who graced both the small and big screens. She was born on June 19, 1932, and started her career in the 1950s. One of her earliest roles was in the film Teresa, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. The actress continued to make a name for herself in Hollywood, appearing in classics like The Silver Chalice and Somebody Up There Likes Me. She also worked in television, with notable appearances in shows like Playhouse 90 and General Electric Theater. Despite her success, Pierre Angeli remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She was known for her ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters, from dramatic leading ladies to comedic heroines, her work resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on the film and television industry. Pier Angeli's career was cut short when she passed away on September 10, 1971. However, her contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated and remembered to this day. Her legacy as a talented and versatile actress lives on in the many films and shows she graced with her presence. Pier Angeli's life was marked by both success and tragedy. The actress, born Anna Maria Pierangeli on June 19, 1932, in Cagliari, Sardinia, Italy, began her career at a young age. After winning a beauty contest in Italy, she caught the eye of Hollywood executives and moved to America to pursue acting. Despite achieving stardom in films like The Story of Three Loves and Magnificent Obsession, Angeli struggled with mental health issues and drug addiction towards the end of her career. In 1971, she died unexpectedly due to a barbiturates overdose at the age of 38. Her death was ruled accidental, but many speculate it may have been suicide. Angeli left behind a legacy of impressive work in Hollywood classics, including Somebody Up There Likes Me alongside Paul Newman. However, her personal struggles often overshadowed her professional achievements. 
Despite these challenges, the impact of her talent can still be felt today. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of actress Pierre Angeli, known for her roles in films like The Story of Three Loves and Sons and Lovers. She left a lasting impression on audiences during Hollywood's golden age. In shows like Mark Anthony and his orchestra, she showcased her versatility beyond acting. Her portrayals were nuanced, making each character relatable and memorable. This classic actress brought depth to every role, leaving us all with captivating moments to cherish. Even now, her impact resonates within the industry, setting a high standard for future performers. What are your favorite memories of Pierre Angeli's work? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this post if you enjoyed our celebration of her career. And, if you want more content dedicated to entertainers who shape the industry, remember to hit that subscription button for regular updates.